Hi there, this is Bonnie McCaffrey and I'm talking to you from Birmingham, England. And what I thought I would do for this month's video podcast is to give you a sneak peek at this quilt show in Birmingham, England. It is the Festival of Quilts. There's, um, I'm sure there's at least a thousand quilts here. And what I'm told is last year they had over 22,000 people attend from 44 different countries. And we're going to take a sneak peek and see some of the quilts here. You're going to see that some of the quilts are truly creative. But besides the quilts, there are also gallery spaces of some of the artists. And what's really nice about these gallery spaces is they are hard, hard wall, well lit, and it's just like going into a gallery and visiting with that quilt artist there. So we'll take a look at that. Another thing that they have is that they have demonstrations tables by many of the quilt artists and the teachers that are in England and they they demonstrate their techniques so that you can get an idea of what they're up to there are classes and it is just an amazing show so come with me I think you're gonna love taking a sneak peek at what this show is all about and I'm sure once you see it you're going to want to come and see this show it is an amazing quilt show and I just love being here well come let's take a look and see what we have here My name is Marion Barnett and I'm from Norfolk in the UK. My name is Marion Jacobs and I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Rosario Casanovas and I'm from Spain. My name is Edith Bieri and I'm from Switzerland. My name is Susie Diebold, I come from Germany. On the top I've got Kunin felt, which is synthetic felt, and then I've got all these layers of synthetic fabrics. And then you get your soldering iron with a very, very fine tip, and you just melt away all this top layer. Hi there, I am here with Erica Just and she is involved in a project about art for water. And what exactly is that project? Yes, the, the project has been based on trying to raise money for a well in Mali, West Africa. And I'm basically trying to raise the money by using watercolour squares, painting watercolour squares because of the water relationship and also linking it to indigo fabric used because the, the men, the Tuareg, are known as the blue men in the desert, so I decided to actually stitch um, indigo fabric using a, a blue square so people can sponsor either watercolour squares or indigo um, squares and hopefully then I'll have a series of small artworks and all the money raised will actually go to the project for construction of a well. And people have been donating indigo bits of fabric if they travel around the world, so indigo from, say, China, Japan, Thailand, lots of different places. But it's also, they can sponsor the stitching and they can sponsor the painting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Bonnie Lynn. I'm Angela Madden. The thing I'm best known for is Celtic design. My newest book is So Easy Celtic. The world. I travel all over the world happily and teach lovely people. Well, we have a threads lay day here. We have 12 machines all set up with different threads. Uh, people work their way around the 12 machines. They have three minutes in each machine, believe it or not. They produce their own software, 12 inch square. They take home, they mark up the information, ready to go. So what do you teach? Um, I teach um, Victorian tile designs and um, tessellations. I've got a new book out now, which is just uh, you know, all on tessellations. And I also have a... Oh. I've got a DVD, my latest DVD well, that's is cool. called From Fabric to Quilt. Yep. Thank you so much, yeah, Christine, well. for uh, giving us a little peek well. into one of the British quilt teachers. 
I'm Mai with Axelson and I'm from Denmark. I am Martin House, I live in the US. I'm Maggie Farm, I live in the UK. I am now here with Nikki Tinkler, who has her own gallery space here. And um, Nikki, you want to tell us a little bit about your quilt here? Okay. Um, last year, my daughter sprung a surprise trip to Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, in Spain, on me for my birthday. And uh, I came home, and my photographs inspired me. I thought I was going to make one quilt, and uh, it ended up that I actually made six oh um, from, from my inspiration. But um, it almost felt like an opus. I was, I was, you know, on the go all the time with these quilts. Texture, the mixed textures. I've mixed hand quilting and machine quilting. I'm a hand oh, quilter out of nature. Right. Um, but I've mixed both. All the time I was machine quilting, I was itching to get the needle into the fabric myself. Oh. Nikki, thank you so thank much you. for taking thank a moment. You, Lovely. <laughs> My name is Janine Ibini and I'm from the United Arab Emirates. Hi, my name is Dee Oldman, I'm from Turkey. My name is Ina from Russia. Yes. Hi, my name is Anna Hodgkinson and I'm from Germany. And I'm Hamad Sabina Hodgkinson, the international representative for the German Guild. My name is Ursula Westre and I'm from Sweden. Hi, I am here with Connie Gillum, who is the UK representative for in the EQA. And the, what is the EQA? The EQA is the European Quilt Association. This is an association of all the national guilds, quilting guilds across Europe. And tell me about the suitcase collection. The suitcase collection is our current exhibition. We have 17 countries in the EQA, and each country has brought along 17 quilts. So this makes a total of nearly 300 quilts which are on display downstairs. Um, at the end of the exhibition we make up collections so that each country takes away a collection that has a quilt from each of the other countries. Uh, they travel in a suitcase or a suitable box, so that's why they're called suitcase quilts. And it's a nice way for everybody across Europe to see examples of each other's work. Right. And, it, you know, it's an amazing collection, and you can see the whole collection here now, if you were here now, um, but then the, the collections will be 17 pieces in each of the different countries, which I think is incredible. Thank you, Connie, very okay, much. I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Heidi Hunninghouse. I'm the IR, the international representative from Switzerland. My name is uh, Astrid, and I came from Norway. Hello, I'm from Iceland. 
My name is Daubjörn Gummersdóttir. Hi, my name is Mary Hunter and I represent the Irish Patchwork Society. Hi, my name is Annelise and I'm from Belgium. My name is Josephine Hertz, I'm from Luxembourg. Oh my gosh, what an amazing trip this has been. I have met quilters from all over the world. I've taken a look into some of the workshops that are here. I've met the teachers, the authors, the quilters. It is incredible. And I have to say that the European quilters are incredibly creative and innovative. They do things that you would just not imagine doing, or maybe you would, um, but they are doing textural, they're using all kinds of fibers, including paper and metal in their quilts. Their quilts are not necessarily square, uh, they, they can be irregular shaped. It's an amazing quilt show. I hope that you'll have a chance to come see this quilt show, and if not, um, you've had a sneak peek at what this quilt show is like, and let me tell you, I have only been able to give you a tiny glimpse into what is here. There are thousands of quilts, there are uh, tens of thousands of quilters from all over, and it is an incredible quilt show. Thanks for joining me at the quilt show, and I hope you'll come back next month and see what I have in store for you then. Thanks for being with me.